Now, in her own words, a student injured in the shooting is sharing with us what she's gone through. Yep, Samantha Fuentes. She spent a week in the hospital, her physical recovery far from complete. CBS 4's Hank Tester has her emotional story live from the memorial at Pine Trails Park in Parkland. Hank. Well, Rick, she uses a cane. She goes to the doctor a lot and says she's absolutely exhausted, but she did take time out today to talk to us about the day that changed her life forever. Here's the story. When I heard the shots firing, that's when I like dove to the floor and most likely bruised my eye and cut my forehead. Six of us hid behind the podium and just the small space in between is where Helena and Nick were standing and that's where they were shot and killed right next to me. Everything that um, hit them ricocheted and hit my legs and into my face and into my arm. Though shot, when SWAT arrived, she ran from the building streaming blood. On the men now to reacting to the news that the school resource officer, a sworn BSO deputy, never went into the building to confront the shooter. I'm not very surprised, really, because he didn't have much of a presence in the school to begin with. Um, he made no effort to introduce himself to, you know, not only the students, but the faculty. Um, he had very minimal presence in the school. You probably see him maybe once a day. You wouldn't see him patrolling the hallways or, you know, checking on students the way that our actual security would. If you could say something to him, what would you, what would you say? You failed us. You took an oath and you broke your promise. And that's disappointing. And I'm disappointed in you. Well, that's the first time she's talked on TV about that particular situation. Tonight at 7, she reacts to her phone call from President Donald Trump. And what's the future for her? Well, she'll tell you. That's tonight at 7. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.